How do you feel? And I, I said this. I said things. this this morning. Okay. On the way to coffee. To who? To my dog. <laughs> I'm uh, just saying when comics do that, they're like, and I was saying this earlier. How like, do you feel? If I, how would? Uh, what do you think? I guess if because I said this morning, I said, you know, on Sundays, I want to go somewhere. Okay. And I want to wife, talk about comedians. You want to talk about Sundays? Yeah, and my, and please. My, and my wife said, "Do you mean church?" And I said, "Maybe oh, or something or yeah. somewhere." Mm-hmm. I think I want to do it. I don't know where I want to go. I don't know what. Like a think, trip? No, I want to go to a place of worship of some kind. Oh yeah, I want to do it. Okay, where do I go? Um, I feel look near my house. There's a there's a church of Jews. No, I wouldn't step foot in one of those places. <laughs> no, there's a church of what is it it's called? It's a tunnel. Uh, church of Science, Church of Christ Science. Okay. And I had to look that up what they do. Christ Science. Christ Sciences. Did you not have any religion growing up? What do you mean? Look at me. Yeah, I was Catholic. Yeah, we, I was yeah. gonna say we I went to Catholic, Catholic school, Catholic so why, and that's why no. And no, no I went, I, my we got kicked out of the Catholic Church because my mom got a divorce. Because you weren't good at being molested. You yeah, were, well, who, you were who would touch this? <laughs> You know what I mean? The loud. You're gonna to touch the loud guy. That's how the I kid about, with braces. That's how I feel about when Cat Williams was like, Harvey Weinstein wanted to suck my penis. You're like, really? Harvey Weinstein picked you, the loudest fucker <laughs> on earth. What a lie that is. Like, you think the priest is gonna go after the little orange-haired kid? I'm telling everybody. I'm not keeping it a secret. You know what? You know what? Fa- you know what Father O'Malley did to me? Also, Father O'Malley didn't want to get tetanus from your <laughs> braces. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I okay. Ooh, Toothy Santino, I'm not You're touching t- that kid. <laughs> no, dude. I, I, like, I, I, I grew up uh, uh, Catholic was in my bones, and then I wa- we were shunned, and then so then we were away from the church, mm-hmm. and then when my mom remarried, we would go to press. My dad was pre- my stepdad was Presbyterian. Okay. I'm in a 12-step program called Al-Anon. It's like church, basically. Yeah, I know. It. And it's like AA or one of these, but it's just like. It's just life school. Yeah. It's a feelings school. And it's a bunch of people. They get together. They admit their secrets. They say, I wish I had done this better. Oh, I have this tool. I have this. I do not know what I would do without it. But it is like church. We do say God, but higher How power. How often do you go? Um, I do Zoom meetings probably twice a week. I go in person maybe I'd like to physically go because I'm too, because I know if I don't physically go somewhere, it's not going to have an impact on me. Being in a room with a bunch of people that don't know you, you're all just equals yeah. and you're all just telling your secrets going like, you don't have to speak if you don't want to, but to just go, ah, oh, I didn't do this well this, this week. I said this to my mom and I shouldn't have said it or this so happened. Al-Anon. Al-Anon, yeah. Al-Anon, ACA, adult children of alcoholics, whatever it is. CODA is another good one. What's CODA? CODA is when you have like codependence. Children of deaf adults. Isn't uh, that what CODA is? Wasn't no. That a movie? It's co- that was a movie. Um, you are so Hollywood. You can't even see things outside <laughs> without it being a movie. <laughs> Hold on one second. I'm like, that was despicable. Yeah. You're like, yeah, despicable me. You just I'm did well. I'm almost done with the pod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my agent. How many? Yeah. It, so it's in your ear uh-huh. or is it just Neuralink? No, she got fatter. Okay. Right, yeah, but- I'll, I'll talk to you. I'll call you guys afterwards. <laughs> bye bye. Sorry, my agents. Uh, they check in. All um, they uh, plural. They do, were all. Oh. Yeah, I should do Al-Anon. I'm a kid of addiction. You know that my dad was uh, an addict. Look, is an addict. You know, sometimes you need perspective and context. You need yeah. to go sit in a, with a bunch of people going. My kid's addicted to heroin. My brother just died. And then you go. You know what? It really helps me to just not be like we're us all the time now. Yeah. It's too much. We're too much. I think part of the reason of having a kid that has really helped me is just the release of what we call the bondage of self, the self-obsession of me, 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 me. Hey, guys, me, me, like me again. Mm. It's too much. You're, you've gotten so successful. I know it's weird to say this. And Bad Friends is so big. Your podcast is so big. Uh, your touring's going so well. You're on this Emmy winning show. You're in like all the movies. No, I'm not. But enough movie. of them. A lot of them. But uh does anything happen when you go, holy shit, I've got all this and it didn't work? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What didn't work? Like it didn't, it didn't work? work. It didn't. No, I tell you what it is. I like never, I still am the same inside. I never thought that was going to make me happy or any oh. of that stuff. I just wanted, dude, my only goal forever was, can I make a living doing the thing? And then when I started to make a living doing the thing, I was like, okay, mm. how long am I allowed to do this for? Mm. And then as it continued and I... And I started to like really uh, grow and the career grew. I, you know, you do that whole like, I, why didn't I get that? And I didn't do that. And, mm-hmm. and then this is going to sound so corny and I don't care. But w- since I've done Bad Friends, w- since the birth of Bad Friends, um, I've shed out, I've shed like all of that because I don't really give a f- anymore because it's the most fun I've ever had. And yeah. it's the most rewarding of anything I've ever done. 
and my, and it's your personality. It's ours. People are saying I like you. Yeah, but it's ours. Not we this own character. It. Nobody you play. does a thing for us. We don't yeah. have to. We don't have to like ask someone to do anything or to like when we have a dumb thought or a dumb idea, we can just execute it. Yeah. And for the first time in my entire career, I've been like, oh. This I won. This is this is my first time I've ever felt like a win. Now that's pathetic because I have done other things before that I should be grateful for, which I am. But this is the first time I've been like, this is a win. This is the best win I've ever had. Yeah. If if and when Bad Friends does end, which everything does, um, I will unequivocally forever know that that was the best moment of my career. I don't give a f else I do. It's the Aww. most fun I've ever had. He knows, I, dude. He we talk to each other all the time about how it's like, it's magic. I have so much fun. We get to be free, yeah. and I and the industry is so collapsible and so vulnerable that I'm like, yeah, I don't yeah, care. yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. care about the other stuff anymore. I like to do stuff. I hope other stuff that we're doing works, but it's the only thing I've ever had this much fun on in my career. So I wasn't looking for something to make me happy. I was looking for something that felt real to me. This is the first thing I've ever done that felt real. But don't you feel like there's a little bit of like once you get the thing that that um, is like, okay, I can make money now. I don't have to worry about money because so much of that was like, I gotta go and then I'm gonna be poor in my scarcity complex. Yeah. But then you go, okay, now I'm solvent. And now, oh, what if I was just addicted to the chasing? And what if well, I was just- Well, part of it is. You know, because you like, still do stuff, this. Yeah. But also because you, I if I stopped making anything, I would really get low. <clears throat> I'd get so depressed. You go on vacations, though. I'm leaving in five days. You really go. I've started to really... I, this is Honestly, this is a newfound thing for me. And you inspired me. You, I don't remember where you were, Hawaii or somewhere, and I was like, he's fully on vacation. I dis We went to Bora Bora, and I disappeared, and I will shut the phone down, and I'll just hang out. I, I just have learned to just do it. You can really be with yourself. Yeah, for, for years, I was so scared to leave, and now I can't fucking wait leave fast to leave. enough yeah i can't wait to leave what happened i tried to con andrew into uh splitting an apartment with me in austin and it didn't i work. said yes but you didn't send over paperwork Ta i said do it i'll right. do it okay i will still do it now i d i dead serious think but we you have should to do find it. the place and i'll do the thing i think we're in a in a place at this point i don't work for you but okay um where we no, you, no 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 but this is a this is this is the relationship we have okay. let me tell you something which is what you do all the stuff right and I'll enjoy it. Okay. I'll just enjoy it. You know what's so, you know what's pathetic, and I mean this. I'm not good at. I'm really not good at. That's a big flaw, man. I'm not good at the planning thing. Like when we do vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She does it. Go. I go. Can you please say what you want to do, and mm -hmm. I will. Not. To and she goes divorce, and you're like, not that. <laughs> please no. <laughs> no, but it's not the money thing. But it's just like I don't know how to organize. I'm not good at that thing. I'm good at my little things. So yeah. if it's like planning a trip, I go, can we get someone to help us or can you do of it? Of course. And then I'll say yes to everything. Yeah. So I'm so bad at the other going to do it. Yep. But I, I'm I got for a, all of I it. LA is really wearing on my spirit at the moment. And your physical. And my physical. And your physical. Mm -hmm. And does the smog do all that, you think? <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I forgot to say when I was talking about the Botox thing. Yeah. I go in to my dermatologist and I'm like four months pregnant and I'm like, oh, I'm pregnant. So I'm probably not going to be able to you know, get Botox later. I won't have time once the baby comes. So can I get a little here? And he was like, oh, no, no, we can't give you Botox while you're pregnant. Yeah. And I was like, I'm sure it's fine. He goes, no, 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 there's something. It's called gray baby syndrome where the baby comes out gray. No. And I was like, OK, but if you could just like, <laughs> like he was like gray baby. I was like. Sure. Uh, LA yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, I got heard it. You. Got it. Got in the middle. Not black, black, white. It's gray. <laughs> yeah. Like, <it's>, I, <laughs> yeah. So I haven't gotten Botox since then, but that, that was didn't the deter me. Yeah. It took me to go gray. Ba oh, gray baby. Gray baby. Gray syndrome? baby. You can't get Botox while I you're pregnant. I need to ask you one thing about your, um, while you were pregnant, because <sighs> um, you have uh, uh, alien tits. Knockers. Yeah. They got wild. Massive. Uh -huh, I'm sorry about that. And yeah, it was. It ruined a couple it of my was friendships. It a new level of distracting. Like where me when and. When you'd say hi to me, I'd be like, no, thank you. <laughs> Ron I White won't talk away. to me anymore. Yeah, I had to walk away. I was like, the, it, like. I mean. <laughs> it was. It it's almost like your tits had eyes and they just kept staring up. <laughs> they were and I was like, like, cut it out. It was like a crocodile coming out of a pond. Yeah. <laughs> coming to get me, too. And I couldn't tell how big they were because it I was, was getting. It was comical. Big. It was absurd. I ruined every photo at Tim Dillon's Thanksgiving party. Like every photo. <laughs> just, it's like a just it was your Stormy tits. Daniels. It's just like in the background <laughs> of everything. They were wild.